Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's our Work It Wednesday, but it's a little bit different than we normally do. We have a guest speaker from home office. Her name is Sarah Walker, and she's going to be talking to us about success paths. And um, this is something that's brand new with Cincy. And um, I'm really excited because we now have it all the way up to Superstar Director. So whatever your title is, you can log into your workstation and it should actually prompt you before you can even see your PRB um, to go through it. And if you can't go through it that day, then it'll still be there. But, um, but anyway, I'm going to let Sarah take over um, and she is going to explain how this works and all that good stuff. So Sarah, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate you. Oh my gosh, of course. Thank you for having me. And guys, I'm just going to offer this disclaimer. I don't know what's happening with the lighting behind me. The sun is setting <laughs> and it's coming in the back window in crazy ways. So hopefully that's not too bad. Um, but the good thing is I will be showing you a lot of slides today. So hopefully um, you won't, I'll just be a little itty bitty corner. <laughs> so on your Zoom um, settings toward the top right corner, there's a little looks like a little um, square box with little dots on top and it says view. So you can change your screen view so you can just see the slides, you can see the gallery, you can swap those out however you want to. So if the lighting gets to be too much, <laughs> you can just change it and look at the slides. So let me get my slides rocking and rolling here. I should be able to share. Oh, actually, Erin, you just have to make sure that I can share my screen. Um, so I think you might have, you might have to make me a co-host to do that or give me screen sharing permission as a panelist or just promote me to the panelist instead of a host. And that might work better. It says that you're able to share. No, I can't. Okay. Hot dog. Yeah. There must've been a little delay. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Come on. Come on, Zoom. Here we go. Oh gosh. Are you seeing the spinning wheel of doom? There we go. Okay. All right. We should be seeing success paths now and setting your sights. Yes. Yay. Hot dog. All right. So I just wanted to talk tonight a little bit more about the program. Erin did a really great job of setting this up for us. Um, we're really proud of this. Our team has been working on success paths for a long time. There's a lot of information contained within it. A lot of the training um, some of the stuff we had already, but we rebranded it to make sure that it was up to date. Um, and then also we created a ridiculous amount. You be quiet, lady pants. Um, my dogs are now awake because I started talking. Okay, that's just super duper. Hang on, because life happens. Hold on. I'm going to get her a T-R-E-A-T and then I'll be right back. Otherwise, this is going to drive you nuts because she's a beagle. Hold on. Beagle, you're annoying me. I just wanted to say to everybody, thank you all for being here. This is a, this is a treat for us. I know normally we're working and, you know, sometimes not everybody can attend. So I'm really excited that we have such a nice group tonight. So thank you for being here. And thank you again, Sarah. Okay. Thank you. Still in the void. I knew, I knew the silence of the dogs was not going to last. I have a shrieking howler monkey of a beagle. Her name is Unstable Mabel. And I love her dearly, but she's ridiculously loud. Okay. Carrying on back to the story. I told you, Erin, I told you we would go round about, but I'd bring us on back. Okay, so with Success Pass, we've created a lot of content based on where people are in their business by title. So we've worked really closely with a lot of superstar directors and then included lots of different leadership titles and people. We've done a lot of outreach with the field, I hate saying that, but like the field leaders, because we can tell you information from a home office or a corporate or a business perspective, but you guys are the ones who are doing the dang things. And so we want to make sure that everything that we put out to everyone is going to make the most sense, no pun intended. <laughs> and we want to make sure that it's actually doable, that if you do these things, not only will you maintain the title where you are, but it's designed to help you promote to the next one. So that's where that success, it's hard to say over and over, success paths comes into play because as you're following this path, whatever your journey looks like, whatever goals you have, whatever you know, big things that you're chasing, where you are as a title can help you navigate 
your focus a little bit more and to help you promote along that path if you want to continue going up the comp plan or maximizing your current title. So it's totally up to you. So we want you to set your sights on the goal. So I'll get back to that before we wrap up. Um, that'll be part of our closing um, section here. Uh, but first and foremost, just wanted to explain a little bit more about this. So you may have heard about success paths if you attended World Tour this last spring. And at that time, we had essential certified lead star and superstar. And then throughout late spring into summer, we've been working on director, star director, and superstar director. And as of last week, SSD is in there. So now every title has their... Um, their training for that particular title. So um, I wanted to head to the chat if we could just really quickly and give me an idea of when you guys joined Sensi. Because I think sometimes people, um, especially if they joined since 2020, <laughs> there may have been some essential building blocks that were missed because we were in such a huge state of hyper growth. And so everybody was at home, everybody was scrolling on their phones. And so things happened very, fairly quickly, very quickly. A lot of sales, a lot of promotions, you know, there, there could have been just a different state of your business between 2020 and 2022, that there's a potential that you may have missed some of those building blocks and, even then, I know that we've had people who have joined before then who maybe just perhaps weren't as invested or they just didn't have um, that bug yet, yet, or they're just like, hey, I've been here for a long time and I'm just tootling right along and I'm happy as a clam. And that is okay. So I just wanted to get a feel for where everybody is right now just to kind of, you know, check in, see how we're doing. So 2018... 2012, 2014 reinstatement, 2020, 2017, Natasha, 2024. Yeah, we have a wide range of consultants. And that's one of the reasons why we needed to put this together because we know that there are people at every step of the way along this path of success. However, you are defining success for you. We know that there are different start dates. We know that there are different titles out there. We also know that there are different interest levels and different maybe areas of focus. So we try to keep that in mind as we put these together. So thank you guys for chiming in. Um, don't, don't put that chat box away too quickly. I'm going to have you <laughs> use that a little bit more tonight. Uh, so this is kind of like, okay, this is great, Sarah. Here's the history. What the heck is it? So it's a training program that's designed to boost your skills wherever you are and lead you to your next title with confidence. So we want you to be comfortable where you are. We want you to be, but in a way that we're still like going outside that comfort zone. When I say comfortable, I want you to be like comfortable and confident with what you're doing. Okay, like I know exciting things happen outside our comfort zone. I know this. What I mean is for this, we want you to be comfortable where you are with all the skills that you're absorbing, with the title where you are, the place of your business, we want you to feel good there. We want you to, to feel good. You know, a lot of times, especially as we get a little bit closer to boot camp, I have a lot of leaders who come in and they're like, I promoted really quickly and I have no idea what I'm doing and I've never been a leader in my life. What do I do? So we didn't want anyone to feel that way because we know that for years, years, we had essential, like our, our, our sensational start, right? So you start as essential and then you might get one or two people. So then the whole idea is to get you to lead because we've gone through sensational start level one, two, or three. So we had this really great onboarding idea and to get people there. And we had the first things first checklist a few years ago and everyone's like, oh yeah, this is great. I'm going to follow this. I'm going to check the boxes. I'm going to do all the things. I'm going to get sensational start. And first things first checklist really helped leaders as they were coming to terms with different different onboarding strategies, but we realized there was a huge gap between lead consultant <laughs> and director bootcamp. <laughs> Where you're like, okay, there's a lot going on here and I can go to SF. I don't know why I'm doing this, but we're just going to do this. So I really want to go to world tour and I really want to go to um, SFR and then maybe I'll become a director. Oh, hey, hey there, we're over here at director bootcamp but there's a big gap in between of training. So this is designed to meet you where you are. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna go to the chat again. Are you ready? I'm gonna put the fork here. 
are you happy with your business today? Now, I know that we just launched a new catalog. We have the Harvest Collection. It's fantastic. I spent way too much money. <laughs> I need another Harvest or Holiday Warmer like a hole in the head, but here we are. It's fine. I love our products. I'm sure you do too. So head to the chat. And this is a safe space, you guys. Um, with the recording, the chat does not get displayed on the screen. And I know that you guys work together closely already. Um, so if you're if you're comfortable with it, there's that word again. Uh, please let me know how you're feeling today. So Amanda said no. Erin, it can always be better. Diana, no, but no one else is to blame. But guys, it's okay. I think that two things can exist at the same time. We can be maybe not as happy where we are and hopeful for the future and really wanting to do the work to get there. And so I think this is what today hopefully will help you with. So if, if you're just starting out, if you've been here for a long time, if you find yourself in a little bit of a rut, if you find yourself waking up in the morning, you're like, what do, what do I do today? Like, I know I need to do this, that, and the other thing. I, I know, I know I need to follow up and I know that I need to start asking questions and I know that I need to start meeting people because that's where the people are and that's where the parties and the hosts and the team members and the subscribers are outside of that comfort zone and outside of this circle that we've already talked to for a long, long time. So I will ask you another question. What changes do you want to see? And thinking about this, and you don't have to put them in the chat if you don't want to. I really like this is for you. So if you have some paper and a pen, jot this down. So I'm going to kind of put on my coaching hat for a little bit. <laughs> and then I promise you, we're going to go right back into this because it will all connect. I promise you. So if you answered, no, I'm not really happy where I am now, or I know that I can do better. I know there's always areas of improvement every day we're learning. We're lifelong learners here. But if I ask you the question, what changes would you like to see? Really think about that and jot that down on your piece of paper. Again, you don't have to put it in the chat. This is purely for you. So when you think about a timeline of what changes I want to see, so in terms of like boosting your skills, going to the next title with confidence, what does that look like? What's doable today? Okay, so instead of like this big lofty goal, like I know there's incentive going on, right? And it's like, holy crap, there are a lot of points going on there, but we're breaking it up into six months. And then in each of those months, there are four to five weeks. And in each of those weeks, there are seven days. And in each day, there's 24 hours. Hey, we all get the same amount. It's just how we're going to spend them. So think about it like this. When I say, what changes do you want to see? Think about what's doable today. What changes could I make today? What changes could I make tomorrow? Uh, what changes, what's doable next week? What's doable this month? What's doable by Thanksgiving? A lot of potatoes. What's doable by the end of the year? What's doable by the end of the catalog season? So what you're doing now is going to dictate and kind of show up six months from now. What you're doing today, what you're doing this week, what you're doing this month is going to have a drastic impact on where you are six months from now and beyond. So they're little baby steps done consistently over time. So that persistence and consistence, you'll see the results of that down the road. So I know it's really easy to get frustrated if you're like, oh my God, this isn't working. And I've only been doing it for two days. <laughs> or even two weeks or even a month. And so just how you're putting those consistent and persistent practices in place. So now that you've jotted down those ideas, keep that somewhere where you'll see it. And you may want to like sleep on it tonight. Not like literally sleep on it with your pillow. I mean, you could if you wanted to, because sometimes those thoughts like seep through the paper and up through the fibers of our pillows and we dream about it. Sleep on it. Think about it. And then come back to it tomorrow because I'm going to leave you with a little bit of homework today before we leave here. Okay. Think about that. Put it somewhere where you're not going to lose it. And we'll come back because I think this is going to help. And with success pass, you'll see that. And I'm waiting for my mouth to keep up with me. Come on, little mouthy. Here we go. All right. You know what? I'm just going to do this instead. All right. Hang on. Oh, I lost my mouse. Where are you? Oh, I have the spinning wheel of doom. There we go. Okay. 
Within success paths, these they're based on two different components of being a consultant and being a leader. And as a leader, you do wear those hats. And when I say leader, I mean, if you have one person, you're a leader, okay? And so, and maybe you're a leader in, in training. Maybe you're a leader to, to be, right? Yet, yet, that power of yet. So our success paths trainings are based on two models that we use. So one is for something that is going to apply to any consultant. And again, if you were at World Tour, this might look a little familiar. We also have this in our product training guide because we feel so passionately about it. We want people to start adopting it. So whether you are doing a buy, host, join, or subscribe opportunity, you need to have people regardless regardless of where your focus is, if you're doing fundraisers, if you're doing fairs, events and shows and all the things, you need people, okay? We're in a direct selling person to person business here. So you need to prospect. And this is just kind of having your antenna out, like looking for people, who's gonna be my next customer, host, teammate or subscriber. And so you're prospecting, you're looking like you're panning for gold, right? Like thinking of that old term of the prospector where, you're looking for gold. You're looking for those nuggets who might be interested in what you have to offer. And then how are you going to share it? So you first, you're finding your people, then you're figuring out what you're going to say, how are you going to share it? And that's for anything, right? This could be an LTO catalog. This could be a join promotion. This could be anything. And then once you've found your people, you've started to share, how are you going to follow up with them? And sometimes that follow-up is going to lead to even more people because they're like, oh, hey, I have someone who really wants to buy or, or they're scrolling and one of their friends pops up and says, oh, hey, I need a Sensi gal or a Sensi guy. Do you know anybody? Sure do. So now the next time you're doing your follow-up, they're like, hey, guess what? Or, you know, this cycle continues. So that's a consultant perspective. That's that sales framework for any consultant, whether you have a team or not, you are always prospecting, sharing, and following up. That's it. And then we also have what's called the five fundamentals of team building. And so these are prepare, discover, coach, connect, and replicate. And that's all connected with this, this idea of leading. And all of these steps are connected, very similar to that sales framework where all of these are connected. So you're preparing with systems. You're discovering more about your people. They're discovering more about you. This is going to help you be a better coach. And then depending how those coaching conversations are and discovering who's in motion and who's not and who needs more of your time, this is going to help you be a better connector. And you can connect them to tools and resources. You connect them to the Sensi you know, like brand, home office, our values, our events, extended Sensi family. You're connecting them to each other, connecting them to you, all of the connections. Okay. And then you're going to replicate this for everybody that you have. So for every team member that you get, and you're training them to do the same, that's where that replication cycle comes into play. So we have these different frameworks set up for consultants and leaders. And again, sometimes that's one big hat that you wear. So as you start looking at how this is set up in your workstation, we talked earlier about that um, first things first checklist, where this is <laughs> the essential path. Okay. So we've taken that first things first checklist. I've seen a lot of questions. Where do I find this? I can't find it anywhere. That's the essential path. So for every single title, when you go onto your workstation, and I'm going to do, you'll see, I'm going to show the screen here in just a second, but everything will have a checklist for the title. Here's how it's set up. And then for every title, you'll have a landing page. So similar to your workstation, that landing page, when you go to it, then you have like almost like this dashboard view of everything. So this is what your success path or your training looks like. And so based on your title, this will take you directly to your designated landing page. Also, if you just want to start exploring a little bit, uh, depending on what your title is, because we do have things gated. I'll talk about this in just a second. But if you go to that top part of your workstation on the tabs, the one that says training, just kind of hover on that a little bit, and then you'll see a drop down, and then success paths will populate. Also, because we're here, and it's a shameless plug, if you hover on training, and it says training events, that's where you will find registrations for our Tuesday training webinars. <laughs> okay, I had to do that. So then, once you're on your landing page, then it's going to take you into the courses that we have. And then within each course, you'll have lessons. And those lessons are like little bursts of, hey, here's an idea, let's go do this. And you'll have challenges and tasks and things to keep you focused. 
Oh, we'll just keep going on here. So I'm going to break these down just a little bit. So on those landing pages, you'll see, and throughout the different trainings, you'll see these four icons. So we know that your time is precious. And thank you again for being here tonight. Or if you're watching the replay, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, so we know that um, Aaron shared earlier that if you if you need to back out of it or for whatever reason, UPS FedEx is at your door, you've got kids coming home, dogs are going bananas. Thankfully, mine are fine now. <laughs> <laughs> but you can pick it back up where you left off. And we also know that people learn in different ways. Just like earlier when I had you put in the year that you joined or maybe your interest level, we know that there are different learning styles. And so some people don't, they can't learn by reading. They can't learn by listening. They need to, so right, so you have an auditory learner if you learn best by hearing something. So we have videos. We also know that we, some people learn, they're visual learners. They need to read to really see those words and images come off the screen so they can absorb those. I am a voracious reader. If I hear something, I am not an auditory learner by any means. I have to see it. I have to write it down and I have to go back to it and read it again. Otherwise, like you should see my notes for class tonight. It's ridiculous. I have to have it written. But I know that some people aren't that way. A lot of people aren't and they need to hear something. And even generationally, it might be different or you may need to try something. We also know that, you know, maybe, maybe ADHD over here, you get easily distracted and you need challenges to keep you on task. Or it doesn't even necessarily just, just apply to any, whatever. You, okay, whatever. I don't want to offend anybody. Or if you're like, I don't have ADHD. I'm like, I do. I'm raising my hand. We also know that just be, just because there are different learning styles out there. And maybe, maybe you like a challenge. Maybe you are competitive. And you like that. And so maybe as a leader too, you're looking at these challenges and you're like, oh man, I don't want to recreate that wheel. I'll just do one of these. And you also have pro tips. So this is the hands-on learning approach. This is that hands-on, like I'm not an auditory, I'm not a visual. I do like challenges. Um, sometimes they scare me and, and I might push myself outside my comfort zone. Um, but what are other people doing? And what can I do that action that I can go do that is working for people? So these are the icons that tie all of that in there. So with that landing page, you're going to see a video for every single title that talks to you about your title. It's going to give you an overview of your path and give you additional um, resources that you can look for. You're also going to have a checklist. So every title now, not just essential, has their checklist that as you go through, you're marking those off. This will help you stay on task, help you stay on track, and also help you guide, guide your journey and your path there. And then again, like we talked about with those challenges, this is where you can put your newfound knowledge to the test. And then this boosts your confidence because here's another cycle I'll talk through, the belief, action, and result cycle. So if your belief is kind of wavering a little bit, but you start to do things. You're going to take some action because you're like, all right, I need, I, I need to do this. Okay, I need to. So you take action and then you see the results of that. And you're like, oh, hey, that worked. That was really good. Good job. High five yourself. Okay, because that's telling your brain, oh, I did it. I got those results. And guess what? That's going to tell your brain to have a little more belief in you. Yeah because you've seen those results because you took the action. So now suddenly you have a lot more confidence and a lot more belief in what you're doing. And then that belief, guess what? It's gonna lead to more action. You're gonna do more things because now you can believe even more <laughs> that you can do it. And then with those actions, you're gonna see more results and you can see how that goes and goes. And then like we talked about earlier, the pro said, learn what others are doing. And these are proven, they're working. So let's do them. Remember, we reach out to a ton of consultants on here, find out what's working. We're not just gonna put up some rando training if we don't really believe in it or think that, hey, this is gonna be helpful. We really, really want you to be successful because guess what? That makes all of us successful. We are here to support you. Your actions also help us, <laughs> but we all, it's this big symbiotic relationship that we have here. Okay. Oh, here's where it's going to get fun. Um, I put everything on a slide deck because I don't trust the internet. 
<laughs> too many times I've tried to log into stuff and I just get the spinning wheel of doom as you have seen. So I slapped them all on a slide deck just to keep us safe. So we're going to go through these. So pretend that I actually clicked on and we're going to go through the workstation just like it's a live page here. Okay, so just for pretendsies, we're going to look at this success path here for certified. So when you log in, you'll see this checklist and this little drop down. So you have all these little carrot dilly bobs and you can expand those. What's going to give you what to do, these little bullet points will say it'll have like an action thing like promote to certified. Check. Yes. We already give you that. It's that's a gimme. So you you already have that dopamine rush of having that checklist. Any any checklisters? Oh, oh yeah, feel so good. And even if you um do it and then write it down that you did it and check that box, totally fine, totally fine. You taste that dopamine rush, my friend. It makes you feel good. Yes. So we're gonna give you that one, and then it's gonna tell you the next thing to do, which is watch the introduction to your success path to get an inside look into what's in store on your road to lead or depending on your title, say on your road to star, superstar, whatever that happens to be. So you're just going to follow these different um, directions, right? The step one, step two, step three. So everybody has set your sights. So you're all going to have a welcome and everyone's going to have a set your sights. But then from that point, depending on the title, it's gonna be a little bit different. So in this case, looking at certified, we have our welcome, we have set your sites. Then the next thing, we want you to get to know some product knowledge here. So we need some product knowledge as we're just starting out. We also want you to get some party bookings. And so everything, remember, within those steps, how we have courses and lessons, everything's going to support that idea. And then we also really wanna help you out with Sensi Club to help you get that repeat and recurring revenue early on so you don't have to worry about chasing down your activity requirements you don't have to worry if you have your site set on lead and you're going to start recruiting and getting people on your team and you want to be a leader and what that entails we need to make sure that you have the time to do that and so you don't need to chase down your prv for that activity or leadership requirement okay so every whoa well, everything is very targeted with how these are grouped by title so these are going to look a little bit different based on what your title is but again everybody has the welcome they all have that video and they all have the set your sites and this is the set your sites is almost like a like a goal setting and we'll get through to some of these too Let's dig in just a little bit more. Let's pretend we clicked on that video that said, hey, go watch me. <laughs> so it's going to open up this page and you're going to see this video and they're short. It's maybe like two minutes. So these are very digestible. That's another thing that we kept in mind as we're putting together these trainings is that we know your time is precious and we want to maximize, like get more bang for your buck. We want to make sure if you're in here and you're spending this time, we want it to be impactful and valuable for you. Okay, so you'll watch that video and it's like, okay, well now that you understand the basics, let's elevate that success and keep going. So keep your checklist close at hand. It's a valuable tool, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so then it says, all right, let's dive in. Then we're gonna click that and be like, all right, here we go. Oh, wow, there's a lot going on here. Okay, all right. So you can see, all of the training courses. And remember, from that landing page, then you have courses and lessons. So your first course here, you have set your sites, like we shared earlier, you have the foundations. So this is just those carrots that have been opened up on that drop down menu there. So here's your, remember the spotlight here, is we really want to make sure that you're getting parties on the books. You're meeting people, you're expanding your network, you adding to your contacts list, your customer list is expanding, right? Now, it helps to know the catalog to be able to do that, to start prospecting for your people. And then Ready, Set, Sensi, we also have a spotlight. So these are, you'll see very consistent throughout all of the different um, success paths title or the success paths for each title. My goodness sakes, that's a mouthful. Uh, but you'll have the, the welcome, you'll have a foundations class or course, you'll have a ready, set, sensi, and then the spotlight. And so whatever that title is, like for certified, we want to spotlight host coaching. And we want to help you be a really good host coach. Okay. And then you'll also notice, so once we dig in here, now we're into the course. And you can see um, kind of up here in this area on the left hand, right underneath that dashboard, it's a training course. And so now we're in it. 
And then you'll notice on the left-hand side, all of the lessons that make up that course. Okay, so you know that this is all about the catalog and we wanna maximize, like get to know everybody. Okay, so we have the catalog, this is the main course. I need to know how to prospect and connect people to what's in the catalog. And then I need to be able to share, remember we have that prospect share follow-up model here. So we're prospecting, we're finding our people, we're connecting them to the product, we're sharing it, how are we gonna do this? And then how do we follow up? So if they made a purchase, how do we follow up? Or if they were interested, how do we follow up with that conversation to say, oh, hey, yeah, I really like that warmer. Oh, I do, I do too. <laughs> or is it, yeah, it's such a great warmer. Actually, I actually have a, an order going in tomorrow and you want me to pop one in for you? Oh, by the way, blah, 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 blah. so just kind of bridging that gap between someone, here's a someone, here's someone saying they want the product and then how do we close that gap and connect those dots there? You'll also notice there's a time limit. Again, we wanna be mindful of your time. So this will kind of give you an idea as to how much time to invest that moment to go through all of these nuggets. It also tells you a little bit about what you're gonna learn. Again, really quick little, little tidbits that really pack a punch and, and add that value there, okay? So familiarize yourself with that. And then you start diving in. Oh, hey, you know, prospecting, here are some people. So it's gonna, it's gonna be very, almost more prescriptive than we have been in a long time or, you know, we could pay really closely to that idea of authenticity by saying, this is your business. We will, you can do it however you want. But what we found is that people were like, I don't know what I don't know. Can you help me out, please? So we started, especially with this last world tour. Um, I say last world tour, it was like January, February. <laughs> It was like a long time ago, but still the same year. Um, anyway, but we started to be very prescriptive by saying, okay, do this, then this, then this, 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 follow these steps here. So this is kind of an idea to things you'll see there. Here are ways to showcase the catalog as you're looking at that prospective. Um, are you a shy seller? Are you a people person? Are you a social like a savvy socialite or a social savvy i don't i don't know that's that was bad that was bad choice here okay and so then it kind of gets you thinking about who you are and who maybe your target customer might be or maybe your target recruit any of those things that get you looking with that antenna mindset of like hey i need to prospect and find my people okay and then you'll see that little checklist. Here's, hey, here's an action item. Become familiar with all the catalog has to offer by completing the course. And there's a little button there that'll say next lesson. So we click, all right, let's keep learning. Oh, okay. Then it starts going into more of what you're gonna learn. And again, you can explore this where I'm not gonna go like page by page by page, all the nitty gritty, because I want you to be able to explore this too. I'm giving you a high level of what this looks like. So we're gonna, again, walk you through that process and then give you tools and resources to help you along the way. Okay, so in this instance, right, you see that little icon there, Sensei Connect is gonna take the guesswork out of follow-up because now we are we did the prospecting, sharing, and follow-up here, okay? But then it's gonna give you a little more of those instructions. If you need extra help or extra ideas, focus on making catalog the main course of your business. LTOs are like the sugar, right? They add that little extra burst of energy when you need it, but you can't live on cupcakes alone. Trust me. Pizza and donuts. Just kidding. Um, and then you're connecting your customers to all of the things that we have to offer. You're adding that suggestive selling. Hey, do you need any light bulbs? Oh, you're already sitting at four bars. You, if you just get one more, you get one free. So being familiar with the catalog, being familiar with those upsells, being familiar with the bundle and saves in catalog and how that shows up a little bit differently in your PWS because the bundling happens automatically now. Is that a news, news flash? Maybe, I don't know, just happened. And some people were very caught off guard by it. So again, that's where you're familiarizing yourself with everything that's going on in the paper catalog, how your PWS looks like to any online shoppers, and then what your workstation looks like for you, just to make sure, again, you're comfortable and confident in everything that you're doing. Let's keep going, keep your momentum. Now we're gonna go to the next part, the Ready, Set, Sensi. Are you ready to complete the course? We need to move on to the next. I sure am. So then you'll click that complete course and then you 
confetti now this confetti would continue to go shower down on your screen but because it's a screen capture on a slide this is the best i could do but i i, I really tried to make it exciting for you <laughs> now remember that you have that that you have to click complete course once you're done with it you have that confetti and then you go right back to it okay and then it's going to show you the recent that you've done and you want to pick back where you left off and go right back in that doesn't mean you have completed your entire success path it means that you've completed that course and as we know there are multiple courses and within each of the courses there are multiple lessons so i talked to a couple gals last week and they're like oh yeah I, I did it. And I was like, oh, but you didn't, you didn't. It was just the one course. So make sure like, cause we love the confetti. It's very exciting, but that doesn't mean that you're necessarily done with, you know, the whole thing. Oh, I talked earlier about the gated idea, right? So we, it's not that we're trying to prevent people from seeing all this stuff. And, and trust me when I say that the information that is on there it's designed for that particular title. And we're not trying to be sneaky or not like, or withholding or anything like that. It, we're not preventing you from seeing anything that's going to promote you to the next title, right? We want you to be really consistent with those actions within that path to help you get to the next one. So once you start going through that gated content, um, and gated just basically, right? There's a gate in front of it. They're just prevented from going to the next level. So as an essential, that's what you'll see. Once you promote to certified, you'll see your current title and anything below it. So as you continue to go up, so say you promote to lead, you'll have access to everything in certified and essential. So this helps you as you're starting to work with any new team members that you're bringing in, if you need a refresher sometimes, or if you're relaunching your business or you're rebooting it and you're like, ooh, hey, I'm a lead consultant or I'm a superstar consultant, but I think I missed a couple building blocks because I'm a little stagnant right now. I haven't recruited anybody in over a year. I'm barely getting 500. Like I really need some help. I think I missed something along the way. You can absolutely go back to it. So just remember that. And it also helps you through the various stages of your business because we know life happens. We know that businesses change. We know lives change and situations change. And so it's a right. And we want to make sure that we're meeting you where you are at that point and how we can help you be the most successful at that point. And then again, if this will help you as you start getting team members going through this too, then you can go back and see what they're learning. If maybe you need a refresh um, and then also maybe to guide them along the way. And another thing too, is like, we're going to continue to add trainings to this. So we're working on some extra things, almost like an elective type of a thing where we're constantly looking at our material saying, is this still relevant? And so talking with consultants at each title who have promoted saying, is this still relevant? Does this still apply? Is this still helpful? So we'll continue to evolve just like you do, just like your business does. And so it might be nice to go back like maybe a couple months from now and say, hey, what's changed? What's different? I promoted to this level. Um, am I still doing everything that I should be? And I don't like to should on people, but like it's really helpful, especially as you're looking at like your personal growth here. It's a reflection of where you are, but then also is it a reflection of where you are? So you, this may be your title, but are you doing the things? Do you need a refresh? Do you need to continue to grow? It went, again, when you notice things are a little stagnant or you're like, ooh, I'm kind of kind of in a lull here. You can go back and look to see if anything's changed and maybe where you need to focus again. And then again, like I said earlier about your team, so you're using this for you. You're also using this for your team growth. So you wanna work smarter not harder. And this is designed like we don't want you to have to spend so much time recreating that training wheel, so to speak, where let us do the heavy lifting with the training. Because remember, once you become that leader, yes, your, your attention is focused a lot on your team, but not so much that now you're neglecting your own business, which is prospecting, sharing, following up, you're bringing new customers in, you're meeting new people, you're continuing to party, whatever you're calling it. Um, sent social, you know, sip and sniff, whatever you're calling it. Okay. But you know that partying just in a, a larger group of people collecting the orders, all the things. 
you're talking to people about what Sensi can do for them, the different benefits. If they, you know, hey, what would it mean to your family to not have to stress out over groceries? What would it mean to your family to not, you know, have Christmas on a credit card this year? What would it mean to your family to not stress over back to school costs? Or if you have a senior and all the things or, you know, tons of conversations where you're not just saying, come join my team. We have a great join promotion. You're like, how can I be a solution provider and help you? So you're working with your team and you are still a consultant. So let us do the heavy lifting on there. Uh, you can use this for both. And again, those challenges that are in there with those little icons could be really helpful for you there. Okay, there's, there's the end of the share, my friends. And looky there, looky there. What was that, 30, 35 minutes? <laughs> I, was, I was bound and determined to keep it under 40. Okay. That was awesome. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. Are we so, able, go ahead, you go ahead. I was going to say, if you guys have questions, if anything like that, I'm happy to answer any. Um, and then also just, again, remembering where you are right now, I would encourage you, the homework that I was going to give you is to go back and do the set your sites. That's going to give you a, a good indicator of where you are right now, helping you set your sites on a goal or a task, looking at that list that you guys filled out earlier with what's doable today, what's doable in a week, a month, three months, six months. Um, and so it'll start to help you figure out where you are and what you want to do. And so that's your, not to give you a ton of homework because it won't take you long, uh, but I really think it's impactful, especially as we are kicking off a new catalog season or a month into incentive earning. Um, also, if you're doing the um, Cheers to 20 Years incentive, this can help you as well with those harvest items. So that's your homework. Do the set your sites and really write that down. Like go through your process, take a little bit of time. Um, if you have time tonight, great. If not, um, take a little bit of time in the next few days to go through that and look back at what's doable and what you are going to do, the actions that you're going to take and looking through the training and not getting lost in the training. So I know a lot of times, you know, like, Oh, I watched a video. I did this. Okay. And now let's go do what we learned. So hopefully success paths is de it's designed to help you do that. Like it's going to give you that training, but then it's also going to encourage you to go do. So there you go. Okay. I'm done. Yeah. I think that's a huge piece of it, Sarah. And I'm really happy you mentioned it because I feel like I am, I'm a tenant. I have a tendency to over train and, and over uh, consume. And it's like, okay, when is enough enough? And you've got to yeah. actually use what you're learning and yeah. put into play for sure. Yeah. So y'all don't be shy. If there's questions or concerns or comments, anything y'all want to mention. And it's okay. And if you're like, oh man, you just put me on the spot. I don't want to. Um, you can always send me an email. One-on-one -on -one is totally fine. My email is swalker, S-W-A-L-K-E-R at cincy.com or on Facebook at Sarah Walker. You can send me a message there if you'd rather just do one-on-one. -on -one. Totally fine. All right. Okay. All right, what? Sarah. Thank you so much for being here. You're really welcome. appreciate it. And uh, we'll let you go and I'll stop okay. recording. Okay. Well, you guys enjoy your work at Wednesday. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for participating in the chat. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, just go back to your homework and realize, you know, like, think about it, what, what you want to do and have happen, what those results are that are going to lead to more belief six months mm -hmm. from now. Okay. All right. Exactly. Thank, thank you. Bye. Bye.